Hello, my name is Manfred, and welcome to my kitchen. Today, we're going to make a really, really delicious and very easy uh, meal to get together. We're going to make the chicken fettuccine Alfredo. And you kids can do this, beginning cook to new cook, because it's the fettuccine noodles. We're using the fresh noodles today, not the dried noodles. A little bit of the butter, uh, the cooked chicken that is shredded. You can learn how to do that on manfreedinthekitchen.com. Then we got the fresh parsley, basil chopped, a uh, little cream, some fresh grated Parmesan cheese, salt and pepper to taste, and hey, this is very exciting. Okay, the first thing we always do in the kitchen is wash our hands because when you're out there in the public and you're moving around doing stuff and you're touching things and they're touching things, you never know. And also, when you're in the kitchen, Make certain that you clean the fingernails because you use them all the time. Now, let's get started. This is very, very quick. Manfred have preheated the uh, cooker. The water has been preheated for the video. Now we get out the frying pan at the same time and start to heat the frying pan. Make sure that the handles are not where the little kid can come along and grab and pull that. It's very bad for them. Or maybe you do the dance and you hit the edge. No, make sure that it's not over the edge where it can get hit. Okay, let's get started. The first thing we're going to do, the water is already boiling, as you can see. So we're going to take the fresh noodles. Now, these are the noodles that have not been dried. They're very quick to cook. They only take three to four minutes to make sure that they're cooked all the way. Take them apart like this when you put them into the pot. Just like that. Oh, they cook better. Now, the three to four minutes cooking is when this comes back to the boil again. Okay, not when you first put them in just like this, but when they come back to the boil. So we'll keep our eye on that. Here we go. This is very, very quick. We need the butter. This is two tablespoons or 30 milliliters of the butter. Put it in the hot pan. In it goes. Back in the fridge here, we've got the uh, meat and the cream. The chicken has been pre-prepared. Now, Manfred always say, when you are working in the kitchen, pre-prepare everything ahead of the time. Now, here we go. This is very, very quick. Anybody can do this. Where is, oh, Manfred, he need the uh, spatula here. Just get the butter moving around, just like that. Oh, that's good. Now, we're going to add to the butter one cup of the cooked chicken. Now, we have pre-prepared the chicken. Can you get the picture on that there, tech guy? Notice, this is the Saturday that we're shooting the shoot. Thursday, this was made. Always put the label on the things so that you know when they have been made. Okay, in goes the chicken. This is pre-cooked and pre-diced for us. Into the, this can go into the uh, garbage, the label. That goes in the sink. Okay, this is very, very quick. There we are. This is gonna take some time for the chicken. We don't need to get it too, too hot. We'll turn that back just a touch so we do not burn the butter. We're just heating the chicken through on the start. The next thing we're going to add is the fresh parsley chopped. Take the handful of the parsley, rip it off. This is where it's fun. Take off the long stems at the end, like this. These, the long stems. Enter the recycle, which go outside in the compost. Heat this or wash these off. Now, you do not dry off the, uh, the herbs and that. Can you see that over there? Okay, tech guy. No, he got the little, he gave me the, no, no, he doesn't normally go like this to Manfred, but he did today. Dry that off. Take it all out like this. Now, the best thing to do, get the scissors back here and just add the scissors. The scissors, add the parsley. Oh, the camera girl, she be laughing when you say add the scissors. Cut the parsley up. Oh, this is going to taste so delicious. That's it. Now, we got some uh, basil also here. The basil has been washed. Let's chop the basil up right into it quickly. Oh, this goes very, very quickly. This is very quick. There we are. We got the basil in. We got the chicken now. The butter is going to start to fry up, and, and fried basil and the uh, parsley is delicious. Oh, I should have the hand out of the way like that. How's this going? Oh yeah, that's coming now. 
This is all there is to it. Now, Manfred to emphasize, to do the pre-prep and set it all out like this, because when you do the pre-prep, it means that uh, it is quick. You don't have to stop and go, oh, you got to go do that. No, do everything ahead of time. We got the chart parsley. Okay, that's coming along. Very, very good. That's starting to boil in there, so it's not going to be long now. We just take the cream. And how much cream we got? We got two-thirds of the cup. Or... 150 milliliters of the cream. Now, we're just going to bring that heat up to heat again. There we are. you got to heat up the cream at this time. It will start to, oh, yeah, that's good. This is how quick this is. You can, anybody can make this in the house. Oh, there we are. Now, as that's coming back to the heat, let's get the salt and the pepper. We're just going to put just a touch in for the flavor. There's the salt. There's the pepper. Oh, yes. Now, you may consider using the white pepper instead of the black pepper because the white pepper does not show up in the, in the uh, cream and does not make the black like this one here, but that's okay. Here it comes. Oh, you can see that now? Yes. Just excellent. How are we doing here? Turn this away. Oh, yeah, there it's coming. Can you hear that now? Oh, now, this is the uh, grated Parmesan cheese. This is the fresh grated Parmesan. Sprinkle that all around like that. Oh yeah, just like that. Now just keep a bit of this back. This is going to thicken now. That's the idea. Just make this a little bit thicker. There, oh, this is going to be delicious. Whoa. Unbelievably delicious. There it is. It doesn't take any longer than this to make. And this is a very easy meal. Now, when you're making this, invite the friends over, the relatives you like, the family. This is the time to have some talking and uh, how's it going. They can see you making the food. You do not need to be in the kitchen alone. That is not a place you need. Oh, that's coming really good now. It's getting ticker. The cheese and the cream are working together and the flavors that are going to be in this are unbelievable. And how are we doing here? Oh, you can see that boiling. Now we're going to turn this one back a bit. Actually, what Manfred going to do, this is the hotter burner. So Manfred going to take this and change them just like that. There, there we are. Because this will heat quicker on the bigger burner now. It's almost done. There we are. Turn this down just a bit. Do you still get the good picture? Manfred going to turn this around here. There we are. There. Can you see now the boiling? Oh, yeah. Now, to test, you have to do the test if the fettuccine is cooked. So always turn this away from you when you bring that up. Just take and take out one of the fettuccine noodle. There we are. Take the edge off, and you look at that and see if it is cooked. Woo! In the center. Oh, that is perfect. That is just perfect. We can shut everything off into the sink. Leave these here. Set that out of the way. Okay, the first thing we got to do is take the uh, noodles here, bring them over to the sink, and just drain the noodles. That's it. Shake them around, get the water off. Now take the noodles. When the water is all off, put them back in the pot. Set that there on the heat for the second. Now we've turned the heat off. As you can see, we just take the uh, cream now that we have made the uh, sauce with the chicken. Pour that directly over top. Oh. There we are. That can go into the sink. Now just stir that around. Take the extra Parmesan. Now put that on and stir that up again. Oh, look at that. 
Is that looking delicious or what? Whoa, excellent. Just excellent. Set that there for the second. These can go out of the way. Back here, Manfred have uh, the cleanup cloth. These are out of the way, that's it. In the sink, into the sink. Oh, this is how quick this is. Always clean up the surfaces afterwards like Manfred show you. There we are. No, this is going to be so delicious. Oh, let's get the plate right here. Oh, let's use this. Manfred make the choice. There. Manfred have one with that. Have just a little bit to keep the sauce in there. That's it. This is well cooked. Oh, that is delicious. Just look at that. Oh, come on, come on. Get all of them out. There we are. The rest we can use, for, have later. Set that there. Set that down in there. Pull off a bit of the parsley. Give it a little bit of the rinse. Dry it off back here. Put it in the center. There it is. Oh, the smile on the, the camera girl is good because there is the perfect chicken fettuccine Alfredo. That's how quick it is to make it. You kids can do it. New cook, you beginner cook. Find more fettuccine recipe on manfreedinthekitchen.com. I can't wait to eat this. It's going to be delicious. I am no chef, but I can work. I can cook. <laughs> Manfred almost missed that one, right?